On Wednesday, March 6th, at 1.09 p.m., Olivia gave birth to our first child, safe and comfortable in our own home. It was more beautiful than I ever could have imagined. There was something so pure about a perfect little child coming into this world. This child and every other child is a symbol of our naturally divine existence. Seemingly out of nowhere, we emerge helpless and trusting that we will be loved and protected. We are received by the inherent loving energy of the entire universe, relying on the guidance and adoration of our parents. As a new dad meeting my child for the first time, I can tell you that he is the most beautiful creature I have ever laid eyes upon. Yes, you heard that right. It's a boy. His name is Cedar Robert Gomez. We named him Cedar because when I show him these majestic trees, I hope he'll understand how magnificent he truly is. In addition, Robert Gomez was my dad who passed away when I was only 18 years old. My dad was a kind and gentle human being, and I thought it was a wonderful tribute for Cedar to carry his name since he would never have the chance to meet his granddad. The good news is that Cedar does have grandparents that have been eagerly awaiting his arrival. Olivia's parents want nothing more than to shower Cedar with love. Olivia and I felt so proud to introduce our little child to them. <laughs> Don't cry! I'm gonna cry. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy. Yeah. I told you it was a boy. I told you it was a boy. Wow, good job, Dad. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I want to tell you the story of how we got here, to the arrival of our first child. We woke up early on Tuesday morning. Olivia had gone into labor the night before, and while I was able to sleep mostly through the night, Olivia's sleep was disrupted by periodic contractions. That morning, I called off work, and I felt like a huge weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I didn't realize how much tension I was holding on to throughout Olivia's pregnancy. I had finally made it to the birth of my first child. It was like an enormous sigh of relief for me. Olivia and I spent a peaceful morning together, accented by periodic contractions every seven to eight minutes. Of course, the first thing Olivia thought about was her first post-pregnancy meal. All she wanted was some exotic fruits. Not my spoon today. Large, extra large bulk. It says one to two weeks to ship. <laughs> We spent our time reminiscing about our own childhoods. Olivia was also taking the time to remind herself everything she knew about birth, that it could be peaceful, beautiful, and transcendent. She is about to go through the biggest act of love. It was wonderful to spend those peaceful moments with Olivia before one of the most consequential experiences of our entire lives. These were our last moments as just a married couple, and we savored it as much as we possibly could. We listened to relaxing music, cuddled, and laughed together. Come on down, the birth canal. <laughs> you know, like from The Price is Right? The Price is Right. You're the next contestant on the You're birth. the next, you're the next one to come into this world. Through the birth canal, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> As the day continued, it didn't seem like the labor had progressed that much. Sure, Olivia was experiencing more pain as the contractions came closer together, but it didn't feel like we were much closer to the arrival of our baby. I felt completely helpless as I was watching Olivia experience so much pain, and it didn't seem like there was much I could do to make it any easier for her. Evening came, and I had expected that we would have our baby at this point, but instead, Olivia was writhing in pain in the bathtub, and I laid next to her all night fighting sleep as my eyes were getting heavy. This period of time was really difficult for both of us. There was nothing to do but to go through it, no matter how terrifying or awful it was. By the next morning, we had both been through one of the most difficult and restless nights of our entire lives. We were drained and ready for the whole thing to end. Slowly, with the encouragement and support of a trusted friend, we regained the courage and strength to push through. At this point, Olivia was having contractions every minute or two, and I used some counter-pressure techniques, pushing on Olivia's hips to alleviate some of the pressure. We were exhausted, and just when we thought we couldn't take any more, baby crowned. Oh, man. I helped Olivia into the tub, she pushed, and all of a sudden the baby came, covered in blood and screaming. It felt so surreal. I began to cry because I was so overwhelmed with emotion. All of a sudden there was this perfectly healthy and 
beautiful child in our presence. The experience felt visceral and raw, yet so obviously simple, like it was the most natural experience I could have. It was a powerful and profound moment where all our fear and anguish disappeared into joy and awe. I could never dream of such a perfect moment as the moment we met our child. It will always be one of the purest experiences of my life. It wasn't long before Olivia's mom arrived to meet her grandchild. The matriarchal knowing she had and the love for her child shone on her face. Her first act as Prima, as she wants to be called instead of Grandma, was to sing happy birthday to the little child. Should we sing happy birthday? <laughs> Should we sing happy birthday? <laughs> happy birthday to you. Oh, it's not bad, huh? <laughs> happy birthday to you. <laughs> Ruby's confused. Happy birthday, dear baby. Happy birthday. It's not that bad. Day to you. Ruby has no idea what to make of it. <laughs> Soon after, Olivia's dad arrived crying tears of joy as he met Cedar for the very first time. These were very touching moments. With the arrival of this brand new human being, I couldn't help but recognize that we were all naturally connecting to our humanity. There was no end to the love I felt in that room. This is the truth of the human experience, and it was most apparent when everyone came together to appreciate the pureness of this little child.